You guys, we are back. I am so excited. Hi guys, it is Hope. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are finally back. We're finally back to normalcy. I have my camera. I got new batteries. Long story short, we're just, we are in it. We're here. I'm so excited. I've actually really missed filming. And I figured, what better way to come back than to share with you guys who I've been watching lately and who I just want to support and to have you guys watch because I think they're amazing. So I think you guys should watch them because they're just amazing. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite beauty, lifestyle, true crime, commentary, YouTubers. Um, I've done quite a few videos of these in the past. Now I've changed a lot. I was looking back on them because I I was looking to see which ones I've repeated because some of them I wanted to repeat and mention again, but some of them I was like, no. <laughs> Why is Isaac calling me? Hold on a second. Okay, so over 35 minutes later, I am back. <laughs> Sorry, I got interrupted. So if it changed a little, that's why. Um, so yeah, so today I just wanted to share with you guys what people I've been watching lately on YouTube. Um, I watch beauty, lifestyle vlogs, true crime, true crime commentary. Some of these channels I have mentioned before, but I kind of really want to emphasize, but I will link down below the four, four other videos I think I've done on this over like the four or five years, almost five years that I've had this channel. Almost five years. Let me know if you guys have other recommendations down in the comments. I'm always wanting to check out new people because sometimes it's good to just get some fresh faces to watch. The whole goal with this too is to not mention, my hair is insane today, I'm sorry. The whole goal of this is to not mention people who are super ginormous either. A couple of them are at million, one of them's at a million, another one, but I don't visually see them as million you, million subscriber YouTubers. Like they're the personalities of people that you would feel like they're your best friends. And that's what I want to mention. I'm not into the huge big people. I like to keep it small. None of these are super small necessarily. I do have a video where it's like under 30K I think um, that I've done that I'll link down below, but yeah. Did I get everything out that I wanted to say? I can't remember how to do this. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first person I want to mention is Cammie Carter. She is a beauty YouTuber. She does lifestyle vlogs as well. She just had her first baby and it's crazy because she is only like two or three years older than me. Almost three years older than me. Um, insane. <laughs> she's been married for a couple years now. I, her husband's in the military. Now that she's had like her kid and she's been doing these vlogs, I find it really interesting. I've always liked to watch mom vlogs. I don't know why. I guess I just want to be a mom in the future. She's super sweet. She did just have her first baby. Her name is Grayson. Super cute. I just really enjoy her personality. She is a makeup artist as a career. She does YouTube and I believe she's a makeup artist. Um, I know she's a Christian because she does like sing songs at her church. She's a worship leader at her church, so I also like that. And I just really like her videos and her style, and I click on practically every single one of them. And a lot of these people that I am mentioning today, I do watch almost every single, if not every single video. Like, that's how much I love these people. So, definitely, Cammie, if you have not checked her out, she's definitely beauty and lifestyle. And yeah, all these people will be listed and linked below. Another beauty YouTuber that I've been absolutely loving lately is Rob Beauty Christie. I've talked about her like just solely on my channel throughout videos, but she is one of my absolute favorites. She's so funny, down to earth, sarcastic. Like I just vibe with her personality. I'm going to mention her vlog channel in the vlog section in a little bit, but she has been around forever and she's almost at a million subscribers, which if you do not watch her and if you haven't subscribed, definitely go hit subscribe. She would be the exact same person at 5,000 subscribers as she would be at a million. I absolutely love her. I think her videos are phenomenal. They're just very different than a lot of people's. The one that I really liked was she recreated a um, Instagram filter on herself. So she looked at the filter and was like, this is what I would do. And then she did it on herself and it just looked so good. She just likes to chat when she gets ready and it's just very aesthetically pleasing to watch her put on makeup for some reason. I don't know why I feel that way. She is... Um, married and she doesn't have any kids but she has um, cats and she's in the process of remodeling a house which is what her vlog channel is on. I just think she's really interesting. I just love her. So the next one is Casey Holmes. I <laughs> This is another one. I have watched Casey for so long. It's been years and years and years and she's been on YouTube forever. She is another one of the bigger ones like one of the only other bigger ones that I'm mentioning but no matter how big she is she is like the kind of friend you would want to have in real life. And she like just comes across that way. She 
does beauty videos. She does have a vlog channel as well, but they're separate. She does have a baby. She just had her son. I mean, not just. It's been almost a year, I think. He's like 10 months old or something. I just love her videos, and she's just so down to earth. I used to love watching her favorites when she would mention music. I'd get so many music ideas from her. Now that she can't do that because of the monetization on YouTube, which is really stupid. It sucks. Yeah, I really do love her and her videos. She's absolutely one of my favorites. She owns a boutique called Rosy Days, which I have purchased from them. They're getting a little more expensive now. I think they might be buying like more higher end brands, but I still absolutely love her channel and her, I just love her in general. She's definitely my inspiration of what I want to be in the future. I haven't been catching up with Allie Glines as much lately, but I went through when I was in college and I was watching a lot of beauty YouTubers. I went through when I was in college. I'm technically still in college, but this past freshman year. Allie Glines is somebody that I've absolutely loved watching. She's very calm, pleasing, just enjoyable to watch. She gives you just this presence, like just calming feeling, kind of like Tati, but she's definitely, Allie's definitely way different. Um, she just ha has her simple background and she just is really talented at what she does. And her whole thing is like, she wants to share her tips and everything that she has. So I absolutely love Allie Glines. If you're looking for another beauty YouTuber who is just very like calming and like, pleasing and wants to help and she likes to try her subscribers stuff and she's very interactive with her subscribers and followers and I just really like her. She just seems like a very genuine person. Ashley Clady is another one. I don't watch hers as frequently because she has a lot more mommy videos now that she just had a, all of these people just had a kid. She just had a little girl recently. Her name's Jovi. She's very like cute. You know, like the, the one of those people that are, you, she just, you just watch her and you're like, she is just cute. I just love her personality. And I don't watch all of her mom videos, but I do like a lot of her um, beauty videos. And she's just very calm and has like this, again, presence. It must be just what it is, just the vibe and the presence I get from these people. I don't know, she just has a different personality than a lot of people. And it just comes across as very just like enjoyable to watch that's like the best way i can put it so i really like her nicole renee cutler or nicole renee i think she is now she does a lot of beauty lifestyle she recommends podcasts which i've been into watching those videos watching back on them um and shows she does like tr she she likes true crime stuff so i think that's why i like relate with her because i like to watch true crime stuff yeah no she does a great job of just like product recommendations she just kind of has unique videos she hasn't uploaded it in like a month though. So, I mean, I took a break too, so I can't hate on that. I'm not hating on that. I'm just saying like, I don't, I hope she's coming back because I miss her videos and I really like them and I like her vibe and she's very kind of chill again. These, all these people are different in their own way. Even if they make like the similar content, they're still, they have their own personality and their own vibe that I feel like I relate to. And I think that's what why people relate to so many different people on YouTube because you get these different vibes. So. Um, Nicole Renee is another one of those that she just knows what she's doing and she's very realistic and I really like her. I like her vibe. Also Jessica Braun, who I always talk about, who I love so much. She's like my absolute favorite. She's definitely transitioned to more to lifestyle and vlogs, but she still keeps to her core beauty as well. And you guys know that I love her. I've talked about her so many times, but just wanted to throw her out there if you guys don't know of her. I'm pretty sure she's close to 600,000 subscribers now. So. She's great. We're gonna move into lifestyle and vlogs now. Phil and Alex, I have watched them for over a year now. I think it's almost been a year and a half. I love them. They're very positive, and I don't know how they're positive because they've gone through so much in their life. They've had infertility. She's now pregnant, but now there is um, a problem with the baby's heart. That sh so they just go through all these things. They were crazy. They live in an RV full time, which I related to that because I love camping. I grew up camping with my family and so I saw that side and I related to them in that way. But then they're also just very cool, genuine people. They've settled down now but they're still getting chickens and they're having a garden. This channel I don't miss and upload. I just love them so much and she's gonna, she could have her baby any day now. I think she's, she's past 37 weeks for sure. They adopted two girls and they have a third on the way, which is her first pregnancy. So it's just very interesting to follow along because a lot of people go through what they've gone through, but not a lot of people document it. So it's interesting to see that. And it's just amazing how positive they still can be throughout the whole thing. So I really appreciate that because I am such a Debbie. I'm not an optimistic person. I'm more of a pessimistic, per pessimistic person and I don't like that about me. They're just so great. I just love them. Casey Holmes vlogs. 
So it's Casey Holmes who was a beauty YouTuber. She vlogs a lot, which I really love her vlogs too. Her husband Davis is very crafty and like, not crafty, but like handy. And he's always building all these things, which I find very interesting and to incorporate in the vlogs. And her kid Mason is the cutest and I just love her vlogs too. I just love her vibe. She's just very chill, down to earth. I've watched all of her Instagram stories because I love her. Ins just I just love her personality. So if you're not into the beauty and you want more vloggyness, you get that side of her life too. So definitely interesting. I hope she kind of like one day maybe sits down and does a video on like how she grew her business and how she developed her business because I think she is very smart and has a, she's just very full of knowledge. I don't know, there's something about her. She's definitely one of my top favorites. So if you like more vlogs, you'd like her vlogs. If you like my beauty, you like her beauty, or you can have both like I do. <laughs> Another one that's a little bit different is Clancy Burke. She is a TV news anchor, maybe not anchor, reporter, TV news reporter. Um, she lives in Ohio and she vlogs as well. So she is a full-time job. She does like very early morning. So she gets up at like two or three in the morning and she works until like noon or so or one in the afternoon, but she vlogs it. And so I think it's very intriguing. If you've ever, if you've ever been interested in how like somebody who has like a different shift of a work style, a different time of the day, um, the behind the scenes of being a TV news in the news industry, she would be very interesting to watch. She has a very peppy, like uh, personality that's like very go 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 type of thing so if you don't if you like the calming you're not going to get that from Clancy but if you like the upbeat she keeps you entertained she's fun to watch I just like her videos sweet life of Zach and Christy again Raw Beauty Christy that's her lifestyle channel her and her husband Zach are in the process of they built bought a house and they're remodeling it and I love interior design remodel architecture that's always been something I have enjoyed um, growing up, I would watch HGTV. I still pop it on once in a while. Honestly, flipping houses would be something fun that I want to do in the future. Possibly. I don't know. But I really like watching that stuff and I've been into it especially lately because I like in my bathroom back here needs some remodeling and I've been in the process of doing that. I just have been bored, I guess, because I've been stuck at home. Yeah, so they are remodeling it. So they film it all and I just like their personality and just, I just like them. So I think that that's why I'm attracted to the, their channel, but also they just make like videos about them renovating their house and all that. So I find that very interesting. So if you like that, or if you even just like Christy, you'd like her vibe on Sweet Life of Zach and Christy. They don't upload as often, but I think they upload as often as they're able to remodel and stuff, especially now it's kind of slowed down with the whole Corona thing, but yeah. Also, Bridget Kane, I have mentioned her before many times we've I think we've done collabs before we definitely should have if we hadn't that'd be weird because she's one of my friends here on YouTube she is smaller like me channel wise number wise <laughs> um but she is older than me she's a mom she has one daughter she does beauty lifestyle she kind of took a break for a while she's been sprinkling back in kind of like how I've been doing lately but she's definitely a sweet Sweet one, I love watching her and just kind of how her daughter's grown. I love watching her videos and they're in the process, her and her husband are in the process of building a house right now. So she's been filming that a little bit and updating. So I just love her videos and I think you would too if you kind of like beauty and lifestyle. She's definitely a lot, gotten into more lifestyle, but she still does quite a few beauty. So definitely check her out if you haven't, if you want to support a smaller YouTuber. Same with Diana Simmons, she is more beauty but she hasn't been uploading as much. Again, she's kind of been one that's been like trickling in, but she's kind of fun to watch. Um, she's one of my friends here. I've definitely been in a club before with Diana, and uh, I just, I really like her videos and her vibe. She likes Samantha Ravendahl, which is, she's a beauty YouTuber as well. I mentioned her before. Um, if you like Samantha, I think you'd like Diana because Diana is definitely kind of like her. She's got a little bit more of a sar sarcasm personality, but she's also funny and just like really relaxed and chill and it's just herself, which is what I love. We just have like a kind of a fun little relationship here from YouTube. Her uploads aren't as frequent, but she's kind of been just sprinkling in a little bit here and there. Um, she does skincare videos, um, hair, makeup lifestyle. She did fitness stuff a while ago. You can just go back and catch up too because she's definitely the same personality fun wise back then as she is now. So definitely if you have never checked out Diana, go check her out. I love her so much. And then another one, Olivia Dahl. So Olivia actually, she doesn't know this, but 
I went to school with her this past year. She just started a YouTube channel three weeks ago, but she has some beauty lifestyle stuff. She has to get ready with me, baking, hauls, her boyfriend does her makeup. Just a lot of funness. I'm gonna have to message her and tell her that I'm shouting her out. I don't even think she knows that I have a YouTube channel and I took a break for a while, but I just like her. I mean, she's just, she's just kind of fun. She's very, She's very sweet in real life, very friendly. I'm very shy, wants to include people, and that's what I really like about her. And you can just see her kind of funniness through the camera, and I just love it. So I just thought I'd throw her in this video because she just started. She has 83 subscribers, but I really love her. Just, I like her in real life. I like her. She's just a very sweet person. So I did go to school with her, so I actually know her. But yeah. So definitely check her out if you haven't. So I have one more, and well, one more for this category. I still have more, ca holy crap, this video is long, I'm sorry. Well, if you have a man in your life, if you have a brother, if you have a dad who likes to watch fishing videos, I don't think he's done hunting videos yet, specifically ice fishing. One of my friends, his name is Bo. He has his own YouTube channel, it's just his name, Bo Stiller. And oh my goodness, you guys, he is a hoot. He is like one of my favorite people in real life. Isaac's best friend is Bo, and I walked with Bo on homecoming court my senior year of high school, and Bo played football with Isaac. I've really gotten to know him recently, like in the last year or so, especially like since winter break. It's been the, the four of us, Hallie, who's been on my channel before, Hallie, Bo, me, and Isaac, that I've just hung out as a crew, and we just have so much fun together. So I thought I would throw on Bo's channel. He doesn't know this. I think Isaac might be telling him, but he doesn't know that I'm throwing it in here. He hasn't uploaded in a while, but if you guys could go to his channel and comment and tell him you should start uploading or Simply Hope sent him, sent me, sent you to him. Um, he'd probably love it, but he does um, ice fishing videos, but he hasn't done any in a while. Obviously, there's no ice anymore. I want him to start doing like regular fishing videos and get back into it because he's just so funny. Yeah, it's been three months, but he's, he needs to start uploading more. Hopefully, he'll film this summer. Maybe he'll film on their fishing trip that they're on right now, but that'd be so fun. If you guys love true crime as much as I do, you need to check out these three true crime YouTubers. Danielle Hallen, I've mentioned her before many, many times. If you like to have a lot of details, but you're not going too, too in depth, too far in depth, where sometimes they can be too long and you can kind of get a little lost, you'll like her because she gets the sum of the content that you need and it gives you enough background, but she does a thorough research. She's a good storyteller. If you really like that and you like true crime, you'll like her a lot. She uploads about once a week or so. Stephanie Harlow is somebody completely different from Diana, Danielle. Why do I keep saying Diana? Danielle, but Stephanie is one, if you want the nitty gritty details, like if you want to go way far back, like I'm talking her videos can be hour long or so and she'll have like three parts. So it's like a five hour long series. If you like that, you would like Stephanie. She is very mega into details. Sometimes for me, I can get a little lost because there's so far details that I don't really need to know, but some people really like that. And she does like dark kind of history stuff too. And she definitely uploads more but she's also like, puts a lot of research into it. So she's a good storyteller too. So if you like that, you'd like Stephanie. Finally, Savannah Brimer, she is newer to me. I just subscribed to her recently, but I've seen a few of her videos. I think she has a podcast as well with her videos, but she's another one. She keeps them short and to the point. So they're like 20, 30 minute long videos. I don't think she goes as into detail as Danielle does. She kind of sums it up a little bit more, but sometimes the details, some people don't want that. They just want a quick kind of, they don't want to get too spooked about it with all the details and they just kind of want a quicker overview of it. Um, she's a good storyteller as well. I actually don't mind, like, I like her voice. I like listening to her. So if you want something maybe a little shorter, or if you don't want to watch as long of videos, because sometimes you can't just sit and watch a video that's 45, 50, an hour long at a time, then you might like her. Finally, the last category is commentary, and I'm going to mention Smoky Glow. I really like her a lot. If you guys get offended easily by things, don't watch her. But if you do, if you don't, you would really like her. She is beauty and commentary. She does do beauty videos along with commentary. If something big blows up, she'll be like, my thoughts on this or why you should watch that. And I think she has a very unique sense of thought and way she comes into a scenario that I would never have come into that way. Did that make any sense? It definitely opens up to a new perspective. I think that's the word I was looking for, perspective. Um, and I really like, sorry, fling in the pen in your face. I really like her. Interesting to watch. I don't watch every single video of hers, but I do watch majority of them because I think she's very intriguing to 
listen to and just her perspective. I'll link down below the other videos that I have filmed. Most of the people that I mention, I still watch. I think there's a couple that I don't anymore. But if you want to get a majority or more overview, I will link down below the other videos I have done in this series. Series. It's been over a year since I've done one of these, which is weird to me. I think it's been over a year because I used to do these all the time. But if you'd like to check out more channels, definitely check out those other videos. Let these people know that I sent them. And let me know down in the comments what people you love to watch. I'd love to know. I always love finding new people. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. I'd love to have you stick around. I'm so excited to be back here. I've just gotten back into the groove already and I am loving it. I'm gonna go drink some water and then probably film some more. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh,